Hotel Crypto. Hello, my peeps. Today we're talking about Pancake Swap with the bunnies, like me. Pancake is falling down quite low lately. It's like falling flapjacks, if you will. And I love me some pancakes and flapjacks and waffles and such. And I think it's time to start looking at the possibility of gobbling this little token up. You know what I'm saying? Let's jump into the charts and talk about it. Welcome back to Road Dog Crypto. My name is Lane, your crypto road dog, helping you to navigate this crazy world we call crypto. And today we're talking about pancake swap, currently trading at $1.79. Now, this coin has a maximum supply of 750 million, a total supply, total supply of 389 almost 390 million circulating supply is a mere 204 million one of the cool things about pancake swap is that it reached an all-time high $43 almost $44 according to coin gecko April 30th 2021 in the height of the bull market and its all-time low was about two years ago when it was just 19 cents it was fun to ride in the last bull market and I think this one is also going to be a fun ride in this upcoming bull market that's why we want to talk about this today. And here I am on the weekly chart. And as you can see, where Pancake was about $8 back in March 2021, it went up to 43, came back down to nine, jumped back up to 26. And around this time last year, about March, we were about 549 and on up until April, around $10. But for the last, let's say, almost a year, we've been trading between $3 and $5. Just kind of been in this range. Well, we broke that. And now we are finding a lower low for this coin. And in my opinion, I think this is an excellent time to look at getting in. And let me explain why. Now, the current pattern that we just lost was a symmetrical triangle. Well, that doesn't surprise me because these little suckers do stuff like that. Some might even look at this as being a bear flag with a huge drop that would just take us probably down to zero. I don't see it that way. Now, what I do see with the symmetrical triangle is that when you take this top trend line, copy it, bring it down, keeping that angle the same, you see a falling channel because your triangle patterns typically, when they fail, turn into a falling channel. And this particular pattern has about a 65 to 68% chance to break to the upside. And that is what piques my interest so well. But now there's something else. This area right here is a 1.27 fib level at $1.50. That is one of my key techniques of identifying a bottom. Now, if this doesn't hold, you could be looking as low as $1.05. That is our next step down. It's usually one of these two. And that is why between these two areas makes a perfect range for buying into a project. All in all, just going by price action at the moment, that is my buy zones from $1.05 to $1.54. Excellent place is my opinion to get in on this coin. Now, given the possibility, and let's say at $1.56, that we don't go below there, that's the entry price, just coming back up to this area support at $3 would almost double your investment. Now, whether you're bullish or bearish on this overall, that's a good trade, people. However, I do see a possibility of coming up to this area at 343, maybe finding some rejection there, maybe coming back down here, making a double bottom. We don't know. We just have to trade what we're given. But right now, the probability of us making it back up to this 345 area is pretty good. And that's 120% return on your investment. Now, the 618 Fibonacci retracement that I'm projecting from this leg, from this high to down here, would bring us back to this take profit area two that I've got at 421, an area that we have been trading in quite a while and a good possibility to go back to that zone. Now getting in at $1.56 in that area and making it up to that area to take profit, 168% return. Are those numbers that you like? Because those are numbers that I like when I'm trying to grow my bags. I'm looking at buying low, buying down in these areas and definitely taking that profit on the way up. So why the price may look scary to a lot of people? For me, I just see this as an opportunity to make some money. And hopefully by the end of this video that you might see that as well. Now let's take a look at our indicators. Now some things I wanna point out here on the weekly. We got the VMC, we got Market Cypher here. Stochastics are bottom out, just like they did over here, just like they did over here. And you can see they don't stay there very long. Now they can, they can get definitely pinned down there, but when you have VWAP, and that's currently orange right here because it's behind this red money flow, normally this yellow, 
headed toward the upside. Momentum wave right here is coming close to a bottom area, right? It's lower than what we had over here when we had our other turnarounds. Now let's compare this to price action and what happened. But right here, they bottom out, went for another upswing. Right here, they bottom out, went for another upswing. And this one actually retested that 50 weekly moving average. Now for me, the probabilities of us gaining a bounce here to $1.51, possibly down as low as a $5, $6 area, is highly, highly likely. And that's why I think this is a great opportunity. Another thing I want to point out is that on the RSI indicator, man, we are down at a low. We are down at 20% on the weekly. That's just unheard of. That's crazy. That has been oversold. And that means that at some point soon, we will be seeing buyers come in and start scooping this token up. Now, the indicators on the weekly do point that we got some further downside, and that's why I've got these target areas lined up here. So buying here, as cheap as it is, about $1.79, seems good. You can definitely get it a little cheaper, in my opinion. If you buy here now, you may lose 20%. So if you were to put $1,000 in now, it would be about worth about $800 in about a week from now, right? And if we do make it down here to 106, you'd be losing about half your money. So your safest bet for doing this is to wait till you actually find a bottom and we start printing a green candle showing that we're getting a reversal. That's your safest entry. Being on the weekly chart, this is not where you want to enter. We want to come down to a smaller time frame. Now let me show you what is going on the daily. It's making me so bullish on this at the moment. You can see the price is coming down, but you can also see that right here, we're getting a little bit of bullish divergence. Now it's not strong enough in my opinion at this point to give us that reversal. But by the time it gets down to this Fibonacci level right here at the bottom of this channel, about $1.52 in that area, we should start seeing just a little bit more of this uh, bullish divergence showing up here. It's already showing up on the VMC on the wave table. It's already given us that divergence that where it is now that we could get a bounce up. And that is true. However, in my experience, these Fibonacci levels are very dependable, and I do expect price to actually reach $1.55 over the next week or so. So also on the day, I want to point out on market side, we got this yellow dot here. Now that signifies bullish divergence overall, a very strong indicator of it. So we are starting to get into a territory where it is a great place to look at getting into this coin. Now one of the cool things that you can do with this coin, and it's what I do, is that you can stake this and locked APR is getting about 21.4%. Now I know that recently they voted to kind of deflate this and that's what they're saying. A little a lot of people selling off just because they're not getting as much interest there. But there are lots of things that you can do with this with pools. There are also things that you can do with the farms to get 48%, 78%, 94% return. This is cake USDT. If that's not appealing, I don't know what is. I'm going to start looking into that right after this video, actually. That looks pretty nice. So in my opinion, this is definitely one that's worth holding on to because last bull market, I was lucky enough just to throw $100 into this thing at when it was like 30 cents. And that benefited me so much as that price ran up, allowing me to take that and move into other areas. Not to mention what I still have that is staking right now making me more and more cake every day. But whether you decide to trade this or take advantage of the DeFi opportunities that you have with PancakeSwap, at these prices that we're at now at $1.79, hopefully coming down to $1.55, $1.56, maybe as low as $1.05, it's a great opportunity for the patient willing to take a longer term trade on this. And even your short term trades could actually double your bags within maybe 60 days or so. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe below. If you have a coin request, by all means, throw it my way. I love those. And if you haven't visited our Telegram group, it is a free group with all kinds of free resources for you. Their trade setups, people learning to learn how to trade the charts, the do TA, just like I have here. It's free. It's available for you. I'm available for you there to ask questions. And it's just where all the cool kids hang out. But until next time, my name is Lane, your Crypto Road Dog, reminding you, hey, this is a great time to be crypto and a pretty dang good time to look at buying cake. Until next time, be blessed. And remember, you got this, baby. Gary was a man who thought he could do crypto, cheering at the SEC. Gary fooled us all with thought he was a hero teaching blockchain at MIT. Well, get back, long get back. Get back and leave crypto alone. Get back, I'll get back. Get back and leave crypto alone. Get
get by, Gary. You ain't nothing but a Goldman Sachs bag of shit.